Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit, and another episode of What Are We Eating? They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, who cares what they say? By the way, who are they anyway? Regardless of what they say about breakfast being the most important meal of the day, it's my favorite meal of the day. Give me some sort of eggs every day and I'm happy. Add fried potatoes, cheese, and or sausage gravy, and I'm even happier. But mornings are hectic for people, myself included. There's really not a lot of time on weekday mornings to make much, so we opt for coffee and a donut, or a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's, Burger King, Hardee's, etc. And we all know that donuts and greasy fast food can get expensive and it's not very good for us. And you gotta worry about the person cooking your Egg McMuffin or Chris Sandwich. If they're in a bad mood, pissed off, and generally just hate life, you might just get a little special sauce or extra something something in your food free of charge that you don't want. But now, you can have a full egg breakfast in about three minutes, thanks to Jimmy Dean Breakfast Bowls. There's many different varieties of these, but I picked up the Sausage Breakfast Bowl and the Sausage Gravy Breakfast Bowl. So let's go over the Jimmy Dean Sausage Breakfast Bowl first, which consists of eggs, potatoes, sausage, and cheddar cheese. Sounds pretty good to me. This seven ounce bowl costs $2 plus tax in the frozen food section. Now let's do like we do and go over the information on the box before we open it up. Now for the ingredients, and I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. The list of ingredients appears to be lengthy, but they have to break down the sub-ingredients and the main ingredients, which makes it look like a lot more than it really is. But there's whole eggs in this with some artificial butter flavor, which I'm not really thrilled about. But then I see liquid pepper extract, which I've never seen before. Sounds pretty interesting. I guess black pepper is cost prohibitive. The potatoes have a couple ingredients that I cannot pronounce, which pisses me off. But then I get to the meat of the meal, which is usually my biggest pet peeve due to the added texture of vegetable protein and other added proteins. But there's none in this to be seen. Kudos to the late great Jimmy Dean for keeping it real. Are my eyes deceiving me? This has got to be too good to be true. I don't see the words processed in the cheese or ingredients. So far I'm pretty impressed for a $2 meal. Now for the nutritional facts, and obviously the serving size is the whole bowl of goodness. Per bowl, there's 420 calories, 30 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, and zero grams of trans fat. Some might say that the saturated fat is high, but that's what you get when you have a meal with real meat, eggs, and cheese, and not a lot of fillers. So I can deal with that. And the same goes for the cholesterol. There's 290 milligrams of cholesterol, but again, that's the fact of real food and considering one egg has 187 milligrams of cholesterol and considering the average person is gonna eat two eggs per serving along with the sausage, it's not really a lot of cholesterol. And on top of that, the cholesterol on eggs is actually good cholesterol. Then there's 810 milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of total carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, less than one gram of sugars, and 20 grams of protein. When I took it out of the box, it looked like real food. Well, it is real food. That was totally surprising to me. I'm not used to that with these frozen foods. There's one set of directions and that's for the microwave, which makes total sense for a quick breakfast. Obviously, you remove the bowl from the box, puncture the plastic, cook for two minutes on high. Then after two minutes, you peel back the film and stir. And then you replace the film and heat on high for another minute, then let it stand for one minute. After cooking for a total of three minutes and resting for another minute, our breakfast bowl is ready. I gave it a good mixing before I dug in. I tried the eggs first, and to my amazement, they were really good. Nice and fluffy, tender, and they tasted like eggs. I know that sounds really stupid that eggs taste like eggs. Do you guys remember the Hormel Complete's breakfast scrambles? Well, that meal alone proved that all eggs are not equal and that all eggs are not real eggs and they don't look like or taste like real eggs. Those eggs were absolutely disgusting. Woofa. Then I tried the sausage, and again, it's real sausage, so it tasted like real sausage. It had good flavor and it wasn't spongy like the TVP filled meat nuggets and other meals. Finally, it was time to try the potatoes, which I really thought would let me down. But they didn't. They had a decent color and a good texture, like they were either fried or roasted. Either way, they were delicious and perfectly cooked. My mind was blown at this point, not because it was the best breakfast I've ever had, because it's not, but I didn't think there were frozen food companies that actually gave a damn about their product and actually produced a delicious product with real food, especially for $2. Now that the bar has been set really high, 
Let's go over the Jimmy Dean Sausage and Gravy Breakfast Bowl. The Sausage and Gravy Breakfast Bowl consists of potatoes, eggs, country gravy, and cheddar cheese. Again, sounds pretty good to me. Now let's go over the ingredients. The potatoes, eggs, and cheese are all exactly the same as the sausage bowl. But the list of ingredients for the gravy gets pretty lengthy for something so simple. I know a lot of people don't believe MSG affects people or want to hear anything about MSG, but some people do say it affects them, and who am I to say it doesn't? And those people have asked me to mention the hidden sources of MSG that contain process-free glutamic acid. Maltodextrin is one ingredient found in both bowls in the yeast extract and the sausage gravy. There may be more that I missed, so if there are, let me know in the comments. Again, I don't have a personal issue with MSG, and I use it when I cook, but this information is for the people that want to know. Now for the nutrition facts. For the whole bowl, there's only 300 calories, which surprised me. I would have thought that this one with gravy would have been higher in calories. Then there's 20 grams of total fat, 6 grams of saturated fat, 0 grams of trans fat, 205 milligrams of cholesterol, 630 milligrams of sodium, 240 milligrams of potassium, 17 grams of total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fiber, 1 gram of sugars, and 13 grams of protein. When I pulled the bowl out of the box, you can immediately tell there's much less food in this one than there was in the sausage bowl. When I pulled the bowl out of the box, you can immediately tell there's much less food in this one than there was in the sausage bowl. So maybe that explains the lower calories. The heating instructions are exactly the same as the sausage bowl, so there's no sense in boring you guys with that once again. After cooking for a total of three minutes and resting for another minute, our sausage gravy breakfast bowl is ready. Again with this bowl, the potatoes had a nice color, a nice texture, and they were delicious. The same with the sausage. It had a nice flavor, it tasted like sausage, it felt like sausage, and it was sausage. The eggs, once again, were nice and fluffy, tender, and had a good flavor. And they tasted like eggs, most importantly. The gravy was pretty good, but it wasn't great. I could have done without the gravy. I don't think it really added anything to it, but I don't think it took away anything either. These are definitely not going to be the best breakfast you've ever had but they probably will be the best microwavable $2 breakfast with real food you've ever had. Both of these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls that I tried were damn good. My favorite of the two was the sausage. So with that said, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. And the sausage and gravy breakfast bowl is gonna get an eight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe those are two of the highest ratings I've ever given. I definitely would buy these two again, and I plan on trying some more of the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls soon. If you like the What Are We Eating videos and the regular cooking videos, and you'd like to show your support to the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month or up to a million dollars a month. Every little bit is appreciated and it helps me produce more better quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do give both of these a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.